rise and shine good morning everyone today we are going to be looking at the snowball stemmer node this node is very very useful for stemming words and the reason why we stem words is because we want to reduce variation so when you stem a word you reduce it to its root so if you have two words one is quicker and one is quickly both will, be, will get reduced to something more like quick that is the root of the word so when you do this you reduce variation in your document and that's something you, you'd usually want to do when analyzing textual data so search here for snowball stemmer and there it is and the configuration it's pretty straightforward just like the snow uh stopboard filter node your document column is already identified you want to replace the column you can ignore on modifiable flag if you want to and for your stemming option the quarter one is usually the one that is often used so i'm just going to leave it as the default click ok and run this let me bring in another document viewer node for comparison purposes now let us go view tweet let's go view document 21 because there's a word in there that i believe should be stemmed so see this word unfortunately let's go to that document 21 in our stemmed data set now this is unfortunate so that has been reduced to something that looks more consistent now it may be a bit confusing for some people once you start using the stemming methodology you get used to things like this and it doesn't look weird anymore if you make a word cloud for instance you you wouldn't want to have one word for unfortunately and a different word for unfortunate because essentially these words mean the same thing so you would just have this one which embodies both of those different word variants and that guys is how you use the snowball stemmer node i'm actually going to do a lot more of textual processing off the screen so you have those examples but from this point forward we're going to move into data science you know into partitioning, dealing with oversampling, undersampling, and building some models. So those are some fun things coming up. Stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.